Here at McKinley, we're always interested in layout telemetry. Here's how we do it. Here at McKinley, we have acquired a Pico Messwagen, or to use its English term, a measuring car. This vehicle is capable of measuring the speed, the distance travelled, the gradient, the skew or cant that it's travelling over, which they call slope, as well as recording the locomotive speed step and the voltage of the track. The vehicle has a built-in Wi-Fi connection to connect to a smartphone. Originally it was Google only, but now there's also an app for iOS. In addition, it has an onboard memory for recording data onto its own internal memory, which you can then download onto a PC to view the data graphically. While the car has a screen of its own, it only shows one measurement at a time, and it's pretty tricky to change it from one screen to the next. On the smartphone, all the measurements are available in one screen. You can see them all together. So we've got the speed at the top, then we've got the distance travelled, then we've got the gradient, then we've got the cant, which they call slope. Then we've got the speed, the speed step of the loco. And the further down we've got the voltage and the battery level of the, of the car itself. One of the other advantages of the smartphone app is that you can still read all the data when the train is in the hidden section. It's also very useful when you're building your layout because you can actually record what your gradients are, not what you've planned them to be. So if I bring a train down behind our London station, you'll be able to see that while we planned it to be something like 1 in 75 or 1 in 50, it does get a bit silly at places where it gets down to nearly 1 in 30. So watching the gradient here, and it suddenly goes silly. This telemetry has revealed that our steepest slope isn't as smooth as we wanted it to be, and indeed in part of it is actually going the wrong way. For those of you who are, have yet to discover the joys of the metric system, you can actually change the, the units along with the, from metric to back to American, as they call it, and then you get it in inches per second and the distance in inches. You can also assign a low code that it monitors the speed steps off, as well as resetting the distance displayed on the odometer. I'll just change this back to metric. And there we are. And with a basic bit of maths, you can convert centimeters per second to miles per hour or kilometers per hour for your preferred scale. Now one other use to be able to use this for is to use the correlation of your speed step with your speed for calibrating locos on the assumption that if you don't have anything else it's better than nothing and even if you're not using train controller or iTrain it's still useful if you're using the Z21 app to be able to calibrate your locos for double heading. 